What if we orbited a black hole instead of our sun? What would it be like? From Saturn to Mars, and even Earth. Let's explore the outstanding views we would have. This is HDX 363, a black hole of around 100 million solar masses. It holds our entire solar system together. The gravity that binds the planets comes from this monstrous singularity. Our solar system is in perfect physical balance with the black hole. However, time itself flows differently across the inner planets. The immense gravity of HDX363 causes extreme time dilation on Mercury and Venus. If we spent just one hour on Mercury, five years would have passed on Earth. Can you see those stars, distorted around the black hole? That's gravity itself, bending the fabric of space and time. Its pull is so immense, even light struggles to break free. Just as Einstein predicted, space and time are not separate things, but one cosmic fabric, curved by mass and energy. We can now finally see what he meant. Space itself is no longer still. It flows. Can you see that dark void at its core? That's what physics calls a singularity. Our current laws of physics simply don't apply there. No one knows what hides within it. A tear in space and time? Another universe? Let us know what you think in the comments. On the boiling surface of Venus, sunlight no longer exists. Only the faint, distorted glow of distant stars, bent and stretched by the gravity of HDX 363. Here, day and night blur into one endless twilight. Even time moves slower than on Earth, each moment stretching like light itself. If someone stood here, they would never see the stars as points of light again. Instead, a glowing ring across the sky, the reflection of a universe distorted by gravity, once known as Earth's twin, now feels like a dream, familiar yet unreachable. Its thick clouds trap the faint radiation of nearby stars, shimmering like an ocean of gold. If someone could stand on the surface, they would see light moving in impossible ways. Some rays would seem to fall upwards. Others would loop around the horizon, vanishing into nothing. It's not illusion, it's geometry, space itself, bent by gravity. From here, Earth still looks the same. Blue oceans, white clouds, a fragile world floating in the dark. But the light that touches it no longer comes from the sun. Instead, it's the scattered glow of distant stars, their paths curved and broken by the gravity of HDX 363. Our skies are dim, yet never truly dark. Above the horizon, a luminous ring circles the heavens, the distorted reflection of the universe itself. That ring is the event horizon, the edge where light surrenders to gravity. It never sets. It never moves. It just hangs there, a permanent wound in the sky. On Earth, time still flows, but slower than before. A single day here could mean years far beyond this orbit. Our clocks, 
out of sync with the rest of the cosmos. The black hole keeps us bound in perfect motion, stable, silent, eternal. If someone looked up from the surface, they'd never see the sun again. Only the glow of everything else, bent, curved, distorted, like memories fading in water. Yet life could still go on. The black hole's mass keeps us warm enough, faint radiation, bending light, and echoes of what once was sunlight. A reminder that even in darkness, gravity finds balance. That even in the pull of the void, there can be harmony. From orbit, the auroras would look like slow lightning, green waves moving along. Our magnetosphere dancing to a rhythm written by gravity itself. If humanity survived long enough to see this sky, perhaps we would stop looking for meaning in the stars and start listening to the silence between them. Because silence too is part of the universe's language. Far from Earth, the red planet drifts in silence. Once a world of dust and storms, now a mirror of isolation, orbiting the same dark heart. The black hole shines above its sky as a faint ring, a curve of light that never moves. There is no true day here, only a slow crimson glow. The scattered remains of starlight bent by gravity. Shadows stretch and twist in impossible ways. Even the mountains seem to lean toward the center of the universe. Every grain of dust pulled by a force that never sleeps. If someone walked to this desert, they would see the horizon bend back on itself. Each step would feel like walking uphill, no matter the direction. Time itself would feel heavier, seconds stretching into whispers of eternity. Here, silence has texture. It hums with gravity, as if the universe is breathing just beyond the thin air. Mars, once a dream of life, now a witness of stillness. And in its silence, we can almost hear the pulse of the cosmos, Every orbit carries a memory of stars that once were, of light that never returned. Here, in the shadow of HDX363, even the dust remembers the sun. Sometimes distant flashes of light ripple across the sky, echoes of stars devoured long ago, their ghosts still bending around the black hole, paint fleeting patterns over the red horizon. Here. Time doesn't move forward, it drifts, each moment a whisper caught between gravity and silence. And then, there is Jupiter, the giant, the guardian. Its storms still rage, but now they swirl under a sky that has no sun. The black hole's halo bends across the atmosphere, painting curved bands of light over the endless clouds. Lightning flashes deep within the gas, scattering color where there should be only darkness. Every storm here lasts for centuries, yet under the pull of HDX363, even these tempests seem to slow as if time itself moves with the rhythm of the planet's breath. From orbit, the view is surreal, 
a planet so massive yet humbled by the gravity that commands it. Its moons trace arcs of light, distorted and beautiful, circling through bent space. To them, the black hole is both sun and shadow, the source of light and its end. And now, Saturn, the keeper of harmony, the architect of balance. Even here, orbiting a black hole, its rings still whisper geometry into the void. Every fragment of ice and dust reflects the distorted light of HDX 363. Each particle becomes a tiny mirror, bending the universe into patterns of perfection. If Jupiter shows us power, Saturn shows us grace. Its rings sing in silence, an invisible frequency that only gravity can hear. The light curves, and so do the shadows. From above, it looks like a ripple in space itself, as if the cosmos remembered its own rhythm. Einstein once said that space and time are curved by mass, but here, you can almost feel it, not as theory, but as music. Standing here feels unreal. The clouds below us stretch endlessly, waves of amber and silver moving in slow motion. And beyond them, the black hole hangs in the distance, silent and immense. Its gravity bends the horizon itself, the sky seems to fold inward, as if space were breathing. Even the storms here pause for a moment, listening. It's terrifying, it's beautiful, and somehow, it feels like home. Farther still lies Uranus, a pale, frozen world drifting in near silence. Here, light is scarce, just a faint echo of the black hole's halo bending across a turquoise sky. Its atmosphere glows softly, like glass under distant fire. The winds are calm now, slower than thought, colder than memory. And then, Neptune. The final frontier of our transformed solar system. A world of endless blue, adrift at the edge of light. Here, warmth no longer exists, only motion and memory. The black hole's light bends across the atmosphere, turning it into a living mirror. Every particle of ice reflects the same truth, that even in darkness, beauty survives. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.